All right, I'm going to show you again when I twist the dial here what happens. As you can see, right now it's set to magazine. When you twist that dial, it opens up uh, so it can feed from the bottom. Then when you twist it, you'll see how that closes. And let's see if you can see that in the camera. I don't know if you can. It's just hard to get light right in there. But then you can look right down in there and you can see that it's open now, ready for the hopper. Okay? And uh, for right now, we are, we're we're going to test it uh, with a regular compressed air tank. Uh, instead of uh, CO2, so I'm just going to screw on a regular tank. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, load the uh, the clip on the uh, on the RAP4 uh, RAP4 split fire. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to twist this dial here, and what that does, see that it depresses a spring internally in the magazine, and you can see that going down. And then you're just going to twist it like you would like you're winding a clock. Pretty much till it stops. Okay. Uh, now, once you got that done, you'll see how this thing works. It's uh, it's got a little locking feed neck on there, and there's some little ball bearings in here that keep the uh, the paintballs in. Once you got that spring down, then you can go right ahead and just load you some rounds. You're gonna want to go ahead and uh, uh, hold that little collar all the way down. Now, uh, before I started filming this, I did some testing with other different types of paint. And one thing you really have to be careful with on this is bore size. I have some uh, JT Abyss paint, and it was just a little larger, and it would not function in the magazine. So make sure you're, uh, you use a little smaller bore paint for this to, to properly work. Okay, once you got that in there, then you can go ahead and uh, search your magazine. Now you're ready to fire. Let's test it over the crony and um, let's see uh, how consistent it is. Two thirty-six. Two thirty-four. Two forty-six. Up a little bit, but uh, this caliber uh, scenario gun—that's uh, um, that's normal. All right, we have a hopper on there now. Uh, I've got the gun uh, set to hopper, so uh, let's just see how, how it shoots like that. Make sure you can see that okay. It's extremely smooth. Now the gun is uh, definitely has more weight than the Project Salvo, which is definitely gonna help on the, on the recoil, but this thing really shoots smooth. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Now let's go ahead and uh, Twist the dial now. As you can see, I'm turning that dial. Now I'm switching it to the um, um, uh, the clip mode. Let's see how it fires with that. Let's see if we can shoot as fast. Out of rounds there. Did you hear that? Dry fire. Definitely a distinctive sound when you're out. Twist it back to hopper. Too. I mean, the thing is just right on the money. I am just putting a, a nice orange color spot on that tree right there. It's dead on. Uh, now, one thing you, you notice when you look down these sights, it lines up with the sights right away. The ball almost kind of raises up a little bit to, to fire at the, and line up with your sights. Um, I'm shooting right there probably about, uh, about 25 yards, dead on the money. And, um, like I say, the hopper sits off sides, so you can still look uh, right down the sights of the marker. Shoots absolutely wonderful. I really, really like it. Alright guys, thanks for watching socialpaintball.com. This has been the review on the Flipfire RAP4 T68 marker. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it. Thanks again.